So here I'm opening some of the patch files that I'm using as examples from the Loop Styler website. Now when you edit these patches and alter them with your own folder names, you will want to save them as different patch numbers than what you downloaded from the example file because you don't want to overwrite the patches on the Loop Stylers directory and you don't want to overwrite any folders on the Loop Stylers directory. You want to create your own and then reference those in your own custom patch files. If you get something wrong, it's not a disaster. The Loop Styler will just tell you it can't load the patch. There was a problem. Usually it's something minor like a comma or a space somewhere it shouldn't be. I had the issue of not naming the dot .wave format on an array. It took me a little while to figure it out. I'm not a coder, but I figured it out. Once you start loading your own samples, especially when you get into the features like Euclidean rhythms, I have two examples, a sitar that was AI generated, and I just chopped that up in Audacity. The other one is a cassette tape that I ran through some filters and effects pedals, like an NTS-1 from a tape recorder to a digital recorder. It's very ethereal and vapory sounding. And then I sampled that into pieces using Audacity. I'll make these available if I got to figure out if I can do it on Google Drive, along with the, the JSON patch formats. You'll have to rename the file names for your loop styler, and I do believe it just goes numerically because that's how you input to tell it which patch to load. Patch 35 loaded. Euclidean rhythms activated.
catch 50 loaded. Euclidean rhythms activated.